from the station that's on your side. This is Channel 7 News Daybreak. Welcome back to Daybreak. Okay, it's time to get those resolutions planned for the new year. And the number one resolution most have is to lose weight and get fit. Baptist Health's Dr. David Gerson is here with the Sherwood Family Medical Center, and you've got four habits for accomplishing these goals. Yeah, and open up with it. So we looked at, uh, we did a, a study of looking at the most popular and most effective weight loss programs, and we were trying to find what were the common trends to all those for people who had effective weight loss. Some were not so, you know, surprising, and one in particular was very surprising. So the main thing is, you know, those people who lost weight and kept that weight off ate breakfast every day. Most hmm. important meal, just like your grandmother says. Eat your breakfast every day, and it should be the largest meal of the day. Really? Yeah. Um, and reason for that is because you want to be full, um, and you're burning those calories throughout the day. If you eat your biggest meal at the end of the day, like supper, which we usually do as Americans, then you go to sleep, and it just kind of sits there and goes into storage. So eat hmm. your breakfast. The other one was eating often and eating small. So making sure that you're eating something about every two and a half to three hours. Um, eat, start with that breakfast, do a mid-morning snack, lunch, mid-afternoon snack, and then your supper. Um, also, this is a no-brainer, exercise. Mm -hmm. 60 to 90 minutes a day, every day, four to five days a week was key. And here's what's surprising, because a lot of people t were conventionally told, don't weigh yourself. People who lost weight and kept weight off weighed themselves every day. They kept track of it. Okay, now is there a certain time of day that you're supposed to weigh yourself? Because I know your weight can fluctuate even just during the day. Yeah, so you're talking about an, an ounce or two, but just we tell our patients just first thing in the morning when you wake up. If you're a third shifter, first thing, you know, before your third shift. But yeah, it just kind of gets you started on the day, keeps you motivated, keeps you focused on your goals. So the start of the day really is kind of integral for this. I, yeah. I think a lot of us grab that, you know, granola bar, run out the door, but big breakfast in the morning. Any yeah. foods that you would encourage people to start with? Well, so, so it's more what not to go. With. So oh, okay. we want to stay with so kind of stay away from the white flours, the white sugars, the high fructose corn syrups. I tell my patients, you know, if the good Lord didn't make it run, fly, or swim, grow on a ground, or grow on a tree, don't eat it. Okay. Um, for the breakfast meal, you know, look at proteins, look at complex carbs. You know, stay away from you know the. Uh, the, the, the tendency to go through a drive through and get that quick croissant sandwich or a donut or, you know, a, a Slurpee, you know, those, those high sugars, those high fructose corn syrups, stay away from them. Okay, what about a diet diary? I know this yeah. is a popular trend right now. What do you think of those? So th that is my number one uh, recommendation to patients is to keep a diary. It, it keeps you true. It keeps you thinking about what you're doing while you're eating. And what's important about that diet diary is to carry it with you everywhere. You can't at the end of the day go, what did I have to eat today and write it from memory? You forget about half the things you eat. So when you carry it with you, when you're standing in the restaurant or when you're at home and you're writing it down, it makes you think about a little bit more about what you're eating and also keep track of those calories. Holding yourself accountable. Yeah, Great absolutely. advice. Thank yeah. you so much for being with us this oh, morning. My pleasure.